Okay, uh, hi, James Catchman here from FTC Team 4218, the Lab Unites. Brian May, build lead of the Lab Unites. Jake in the corner, and then that's actually Michael Lopez on Behind the camera. the camera. He's camera shy, so we had him film the video. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a video on linear slides. As you can see, this is our robot. It has, uh, we use 80-20 linear slides, however, I believe there's basic similarities between all types of linear slides. We're going to talk about the specific specifics of 80-20 because 80-20 is really reliable. Uh, they're a really big manufacturer. They produce, basically, this is their linear slide, 1010. It's a single piece linear slide. It comes in six foot lengths, which we cut down to size, as you can see here. It's also referred to as an X bar by some people. Yeah, just um, nomenclature. Compared to the channels on the bot, this is basically indestructible. You're not going to break this even if you try. It actually takes a long time to machine through it. Yeah. You'll notice. Aside from merely using it on our linear slide, we actually do have it on structural components because it is so sturdy and reliable. Um, that's part of the linear slide that actually works with the winch, so it, it puts up against a lot of force. And go ahead and should just show the motion. Okay, so we have it. We have. If you look through here, you'll notice that we have these. These are bearings. Now, you might think they're pulleys, but they're not, because pulleys are not legal. <laughs> they're just these... um, ball bearings, and I can actually find the manufacturer. Yeah, but... uh, these are ball bearings, which we have connected to... The um, are VXB ball bearings. Yeah, these are VXB ball bearings. Which actually screw into part of the 820 yes. linear slide assembly. Yes, they, they, they screw into this piece, which is actually the piece that allows us to move the slides up and down. And now, this the moving that is provided by these is so smooth that we don't have to grease. We've never had to grease these and we've been using this for um, several, basically a month now. Yeah. Without any grease at all. And it runs just as well as it did when we first put it together. Um, it is very, very reliable. It does take, if you get it attached wrong, it'll mess you up, but if you get it right, it works like a dream. You can see, is it at its full height? We have a metal wire yeah. attached to a winch, which is bringing it up. We don't right actually here. have it assembled enough to fully extend it. It goes like that, so you can see. And that's a very, very tall lift. However, you'll notice it's not bending. It's very, very stable comparatively. That's a really big asset when you're um, trying to score on top rings. Uh, do you want to go talk about the, how the carriages work? Um, yeah. The, these, we refer to them as carriages. What they are is the whole sliding mechanism. So, hey Lopez, can you zoom in, zoom in right here? Actually, no, 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 right, right, right here. Yeah, we'll zoom in on the top one. Um, this is actually a three-part assembly. You mm -hmm. can see the half, and then another half on the inside, and there's a little interior piece. Yep, and right that, there. It's firmly attached to one of the bars, and then another bar glides on these pads, which mm -hmm. means it basically goes like that. And we have one on each side, so we have on this assembly, have a linear slide attached to this bar right here, and then this, no, not a linear slide, a carriage attached to this linear slide right here, then a carriage attached right here, so that when it slides to its full extension, they meet. Oh, that one's timed wrong, but this one is a better example down here. If the, No, linear slide's not going to practice. Move your arm, Brian. Okay. No, it, it's fine. And inside of here is the things that keep this from sliding or falling off of this bar. This bar, as if you'll notice in the video, it's thicker this way, and this is the 1020 piece, this the is one actually inch by two inches. Basically one of these, except double. Um, we use, you have to have one of these between a single and a single to match. So we have a single right here, which doesn't move, and we have a, tw a two-sided, which moves, attached to another two-sided, which moves, attached to a one-sided, which moves. Um, we have these cut to 17 inches each, and the two carriages together take off, I think They, they take off four inches, yeah, it's, so it's get, two inch per carriage, and you need two, two, at least. Yeah, so that basically means we have 13 inches of additional height per linear slide, which is a lot, because they're relatively thin and relatively yeah. light. Um, just talk about, can you move the controller out of the way, real quick? Uh, we do have stops on these. What we did is we screwed in a 80-20 screw at the end so that the linear slide right cannot actually go down any more. Right here, right. you'll notice. This, this one's loose because we haven't screwed it all in all the way. So this is acting as a rudimentary stop right yeah. now. 
Um, a little bit more about that. If you can get just a spare... Here, pass me the bar. Okay. I'm going to show you how to actually attach pieces like this. 8020 has... These are the T-nuts, right? Yes, the economy T-nuts is what they're the Economy T-nuts, there's the two and the one. Just use it depending on your preference. They also have a triple, but you don't really need it. Yeah, we've never used it. What happens is, you take this, there's going to be a dented, um, a more protruding end. You're going to put that towards the bottom. You're going to put that where you need. Then you're either going to take your flat head or your... Um, more of a round head, yeah. which that one comes default on... These. The flat heads work great for Tetrix pieces because they go through the holes on a channel. You'll notice, can you rotate the thought real quick? Mm -hmm. This right here is a channel piece that we secured onto the 20 bar. That's at a single Resuming. joint, but it, it doesn't move. You can put a lot of weight on that. Yeah, So then, see? And then we just have some spacers in between there, metal spacers. May, can you go get me the yellow T-handle real quick? Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is, usually what I do, take this... Again, the dented side down, there screw in just a little bit, thank you, and then put it through here. If I don't, if I want it to not move, I lock it all the way down, and that, that ain't gonna go nowhere. But, if I want, I can have it looser on, so it won't come out, but it'll still move. Although, I would still recommend using the carriages if you're not transferring something to Tetrix. For, for linear slides, you sh you should use these carriage systems because otherwise those are just incredibly you're, reliable. And you're you're being risky if you don't use them. Yeah, especially if you have another bot on your lift. That's they're really stable, really reliable. They're just good pieces of equipment. Um, talking a little bit about how we actually powered. Can you rotate the bot just to run like this so we can see the other side? Talking a little bit how we actually power our linear slide. As I may have said before, we have a winch down here. A pair of motors with a turning that will uh, track the metal wire, and we have There's it, the metal wire rounded. We have it run through the pull, um, through the ball bearings to all parts of it. it. This isn't finished just yet because we're doing some modifications to it. So we can't use the entire lift, but it runs through all of these. It hasn't slipped out during competition, which is a good thing. So it is rather reliable. Um, you'll notice these pieces are attached straight yeah. to over top. Yeah, yeah. Um, this piece, this piece, and those pieces. Those are all eighty twenty pieces, and they are um, part of the structural support. So they do. They are legal for FTC. Um, we've been to at least one competition with them, and it's and then we legal. also have a piece right here where eighty twenty produces flat plates as part of their set. Um, I think I can find. What it what it is it's it's yeah you know, th there's the yeah. uh, the angled version yeah. yeah so these are just structural they give a nice solid base for the linear slides and these we just mounted here and on the other side into the eighty twenty bar and then actually uh, from the back side we have it mounted into here so it keeps it steady.